guys, so today I have my January favorites. I can't believe we're already a month into the new year, but anyway, I have a lot of favorites this month that are, I think, new to just my monthly favorites in general, so I'm kind of excited about that. So, let's get started. I have two skincare products that I've been using for the past couple months. I really wanted to give time to see if they work with my skin and everything, and I definitely really love them. They're both very gentle and I think very effective as well. So the first one is from Symbol. This is the first and only product that I've ever tried from this brand. Um, this is the Soothing Facial Toner. As you can see, whoa. <clears throat> As you can see, I've used a ton of it. I've used almost half the bottle already, which may actually turn out to be a bad thing because I'm assuming I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. But this is really, really nice. What I like about this especially, though, is that um, it's alcohol-free, but for some reason, I feel like with some of the alcohol-free toners, they leave your skin feeling almost like sticky, like there's some sort of slight residue left on it, whereas alcohol or toners with alcohol leave your skin really dry. So I like wanted something like in between there, and this one doesn't leave that feeling on your skin, so I like this one a lot, and it smells pretty nice too. The other skincare product is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser, and this is actually the first like skin cleanser that I've ever used from Aveeno, but I have used their like moisturizer. I really, really like that, but it's just kind of expensive for um, a drugstore moisturizer anyway, so I try not to get that one every time, but this is really, really nice. I use it with my scrubby brush. You can use it with your Clarisonic as well. Um, it's a really, really gentle cleanser, super good for sensitive skin. And it claims that it has five factors of radiance, which I'm not sure if I really agree with this because um, it says it's uniquely formulated to target all five factors of radiance, which by the way is a trademark in case you wanted to put five factors of radiance on your product. You're out of luck, my friend. It says tone, texture, dullness, blotchiness, and brown spots. I, I've never really had a skincare product that claims to do anything for the actual overall skin tone ever really do anything for that. Um, as far as like redness or spots or anything goes, I've never had like any sort of difference. But an overall cleanser does a really nice job. But this one smells really good too, so just an overall good product. Moving on to makeup, I have a couple lip products here. So the first one is something that I'm wearing surely today. This is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Lipstick in Plum Adagio. These are new. They're supposedly liquid lipsticks. Now, I don't know if this is... The sun just got really bright. <laughs> I don't know if this is like an exception to the line, but when I first got this, I was really raving about it, and I still really love it. I love the color, but I, was, I wore it alone at first, and then I noticed that it's not quite as opaque as I think a color like this needs to be. Since it is such a deep color, if it has any sort of like jelly, like transparency, it looks kind of odd. So I actually think this looks way better over like an opaque dark base. So today I used my um, Wet n Wild Cherry Balm. You guys have talked about this several times before. And then I just put this, it's more of a gloss in my opinion. It's a pretty pigmented gloss, but it's not, I wouldn't consider this a liquid lipstick. I have to say that I don't really care for the applicator. I feel like it doesn't um, warrant, or not warrant, facilitate, I guess, a very precise application because it's it's kind of like fluffy almost. I don't I don't know why they chose this applicator. It's a very strange selection, but I'm guessing with the other shades like the pinks and like the neuter colors, I'm sure it would actually be okay. But for something this dark, you really have to be super precise with it. The other lip product is the e.l.f. Lip Lock Pencil, and I got this in my, um, what's it called, unboxing haul, so I've only had this for about a month now, and I really actually think this works pretty well. I used it with Cherry Balm on its own, so Cherry Balm is another deep color, and what you do is you apply this before you apply your lip color around just as like a barrier so that the um, lip product doesn't bleed, and I definitely think this makes a difference. I didn't... I wasn't really sure how well this would work, but I definitely think that it actually does work very well. You do have to be careful, though. If I use, like, a really moisturizing balm and then I use the lip lock pencil, it doesn't quite work as well. I think your lips have to be more on the dry side, at least less product anyway, um, and then apply this first. One kind of annoying thing about this, though, is that this broke off. And I've only had this, like, not, I've only used it maybe less than 10 times. So 
The fact that that's already broken off is kind of annoying, but over, other than that, the actual product itself works really well. Next I have a blush. This is Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face, and this is just the mini travel size. But if you haven't tried this formula, it's really, really great and very long-lasting. I'm wearing just a little bit of it today to kind of warm up my face, but this is actually a matte cooler pink, which doesn't make sense to warm up my face, but somehow it does, and this is the only blush that I used this month, besides maybe like three days out of the month. This was all I reached for. I'm not entirely sure why, but I was super drawn to it. I have a concealer here. This is Rimmel Wake Me Up, which I showed in my last haul video, I believe. And someone asked me if this had shimmer in it, which I thought was such a strange question, but apparently the corresponding foundation has shimmer in it. So I looked at this closely, and actually, yeah, it does have like little micro shimmers in there. But to be honest, on the face, it doesn't show up at all, which I am thankful for. <laughs> um, and maybe that is why it has such an illuminating effect. I, I effect what? That, what? I really do like this. It has a doe foot applicator. Um, it's more on the liquidy side. It's not super runny or anything, but it's definitely not like a thick cream concealer or anything like that. The only place I've seen it so far is at Walmart. <laughs> that one time that I went to Walmart. And um, I've looked in the drugstores and haven't seen it. I don't know if it's going to be a Walmart exclusive or if it's just not out yet in other places. But if you were looking for it, I would check Walmart first. So I have a couple eye products today. The first one is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, and this product I actually think was my first liquid eyeliner that I ever bought in high school. And it has a brush tip applicator, which if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend, just because they are a bit flimsier. They do allow for a very fine line, which is why I like it now, but I've been using liquid liner for several years now. But the problem with this is that it has a lot of room for error because it is so flexible. There's just a lot that can go wrong with this. So I'd actually start off with something more of like a felt tip if you are just starting out. But I really do like this. It's super inexpensive. It's like $3-ish or something. I'm wearing it today. It's pretty, you know, basic. And I, I go through these phases of like gel liner all day, every day. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, it's too much of a hassle. I have to use a brush and the pot. Just like, it's too much. And then I see the convenience of this nice little slender tube of liquid eyeliner and it just it becomes clear. And the last makeup product is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow. I might have talked about this in my favorites video last month, but this is the one in confetti. It's just a basic white color, but it's super reflective. I use it in the inner corners of my eyes to add a nice highlight, I guess you could say. And I'm wearing it today, but I did put like a white shadow over it just to like said it I guess you could say it doesn't need it but I feel like it kind of packs more of a punch that way. I have one body product and this probably won't be a surprise to you guys if you saw my last haul video again. It's the Body Shop Body Butter in Vineyard Peach. This thing is like heaven in a jar. I can't even deal with this thing right now. It smells so good. I can't just there's there are no words. If you like peach scents this smells so good. I can't eat. They did so well. Like, brilliant. Like, applause. People, applause. It's the formula for dry skin, which I'm really happy about. There's a jet. Every time I try to always has to be a jet. Okay. Go. Okay, as I was saying, so this is for the dry skin and <laughs> for the dry skin. Actually really good because I like this formula and the very dry skin ones. The one for normal skin is definitely more of just like a regular lotion-y type of consistency. It may be like a slightly bit thicker, but not a whole lot. I do have to say, I don't feel like there's a big difference between this formula and the very dry skin one. So if you were like really concerned about that, I wouldn't even worry. So this is really, really good. I love it. Alright, I have quite a few jewelry favorites this month. The first one, I well, I guess the first three are these rings from Brandy Melville that I have been wearing a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. The first one is just like this little knot. I showed all these in that haul video. The next one is like this tribally spiky situation. And this other one, which is probably my favorite one, is this turquoise one. Unfortunately though, because I've been wearing this so much, especially the turquoise one, the silver coating is wearing off of the band on this one, which is kind of annoying, but slightly expected because it was only like $3. Can't really have high expectations, but just be aware of that. If that's something that really bothers you, I wouldn't 
buy this. The next one is this Shop Lately ring set, which is <laughs> stuck. Okay, here we go. I've been wearing this one a lot. If I'm not wearing the silver one, I'm probably wearing these. And it has a set of three. So it has one with three rings, one with two, and one single band. Unfortunately, again, I don't know what to do with my rings is this month, but this one, the single band, has worn off, like the gold coating, I guess you could say, has worn off um, around the edges on this one. And I think it's because I wear it on my thumb, so I don't know if there's like excess, <laughs> like, yes, I move my thumb like this all the time, don't you? Mm. And lastly is this necklace from again shop lately, but the shop <laughs> lately, but the seller for this one is Daisy Gem. Those those rings were from Glint and Gleam. If I can find both these products, I will link them in the description box. But I love this necklace. It's not like super crazy blingy or anything. It's the perfect size I think for me, but it still adds like a really nice pop of something extra and it does add a little bit of class, I guess you could say. So I like the color combination as well. I think it's very appropriate and this purpley shade is kind of, you know, like the orchid shade of the year, so that's cool. And last favorite is a clothing favorite. This is my Brandy Melville hoodie. If you follow me on Instagram, this probably isn't a surprise. I wore this a ton this month. Uh, you know, I try to not wear a whole lot of the same outfits in one month. You know, I try to, I'll wear, I'll repeat outfits, but they have to like, you know, look a little different or they have to like be spread out not like in the same month or not like, like noticeably close together. But I wore this thing like three times in one week and I had no regrets. <laughs> I was concerned, you know, that it was too long because it's almost dress length on me because I'm short. But, it actually kind of works in my favor because I can wear this with like sheer tights and knee high socks and I'm good to go. I do always wear like shorts underneath just you know don't want to have any awkward moments there but it's still really nice so I like this a lot. I, I'm, I like this. Okay. Alright so that is it. I will be linking my top 5 out for the days. There's another jet. No why? Okay that's it. Top 5 out for the days. Okay thank you for watching. Bye.